hours before the debate in Parliament, the government announced what it says is the ultimate payout to all IDPs that have been living in camps since the post-election violence. The government says the camps will all be closed on the 7th of September, that is this Saturday. And as Betty Kialo reports, each household will receive 400,000 shillings to cater for their resettlement. 3.3 billion is the money that will hopefully see all internally displaced persons who have for the last six years not been resettled begin rebuilding their lives. According to the cabinet secretary, 8,000 IDPs are set to receive 400,000 shillings and an additional 10,000 shillings each to cater for their relocation from the camps to their desired resettlement locations. The head of the household and their spouse will be the joint signatories to the account where this money has been deposited. Three camps in Eldoret, one in Maimahio and another in Kapkembu will officially be closed this coming Saturday. The money we are giving is by no means going to compensate for the suffering that they have endured, but it will help them to move on with their lives as they see fit. Apart from the 8,000 IDPs who are listed as beneficiaries, there are a number of families living in Pipeline IDP camp in Nakuru who say they were displaced during the clashes but they are not on government records. They say at the time of the IDP registration, they did not have documentation that was needed. Here, they continue to live in abject poverty, hoping that they too will be included in the beneficiaries list. It has been six years since thousands of families lost their households, having been forcefully ejected from their homes. And with this latest move by government, it is the hope of many that the IDP issue will be fully settled. Betty Kialo, KTN.